I first got engaged in politics when I was more or less 13 because I started realizing that there's a lot of injustices going on around me. And for me, being politically active, this is really depending on seeing problems in your surroundings and trying to change them. It's not about necessarily joining a party or entering parliaments or whatever. It's about trying to change things. And that's what I did when I was 13. Because for me, the Green Party is the only party that really thinks in holistic terms. We think uh, things together. We think that economy cannot work when it's against ecology. It needs to work together. And also we look into um, other issues like we mainstream uh, women's rights also when it comes to the economy. And uh, we think everything together and we're not thinking in silos and we're not having one um, party branch that focuses, I don't know, on, on farmers policy against another one. But we're really trying to improve lives of everybody. I think the youth guarantee has been a right step in the right direction, but there is problems with that as well. Currently the youth guarantee is completely underfunded and with the little money that's being put into the youth guarantee at European level, you can only uh, finance in the end some, some unpaid internships. But that's not what quality work is about in order to really guarantee a future for people and give people a perspective. We need to bring them into quality jobs and quality apprenticeships. We cannot make use of more precarious work that doesn't help, that, that won't help the young people. So we really need to repair the youth guarantee and make it better for it to work. For me, being an EU citizen uh, means a lot of the times crossing borders. I've been growing up at the Polish-German border and I remember when the border was very close still, when you had to show your passport or your ID and there were huge queues in front of the border by lorries, by, uh, by cars, and it took ages to cross the border. And then when uh, the European integration went further, now we don't have any more border controls and I can just cross the border, the five meters that is in a minute. And for me, this really means Europe is growing together, overcoming borders. And um, yeah, that's for me one of the strongest essences of the European Union. EU citizens who go to other European places, they have more rights than when you would be going overseas, for example. We are all EU citizens, we all have uh, similar rights, like we can transfer along a lot of the social rights, not by far not enough, but still we have more possibilities, we have more rights also when it comes to participating, to voting, uh, citizenship and all of those issues when we move around the European Union. But of course everybody has to see for themselves what fits best for them. People should go vote because they are deciding with their vote which direction the European Union will take. And I think this is absolutely crucial. Over the past five years we've been seeing the unfolding of the crisis, things becoming much and even worse. And now it's time to decide, do we want to get out of the crisis? Do we really put effort into this? And which way do we take out of the crisis? And uh, are we going to make a European Union that's more democratic or are we going to have more secret deals between governments? Are we going to have a more open Europe that is a haven of protection for refugees or do we want fortress Europe? All of those things are going to be decided in the European elections and I think everybody has a say on all of those. So it's about making your voice heard. Of course that's not only an election day but that is crucial. The future of the European Union that I would like to see is a European Union where people's voice really matters, where young people are taking up their voice as well and where, where their needs are being heard much more than it's currently done. A European Union that really understands that we need to cooperate also in economic terms and where we try to get a better future all of us together and where we're not entering into competition about who has the lowest wages for example. I think the European Union that I want to see that's really about cooperation, about working together and also being open for people from the outside.